Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We have everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the next episode of Tanya. This being episode two. First episode was a blast. I really loved what we had with it. The 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 monster in the form of a little girl, the devil. I mean they were giving her a bunch of names and rightfully so, I I guess, but I'm already feeling Tanya. I'm already I'm already liking what we had. Uh, you know, with the first episode, and the thing I'm you wondering about because obviously I know it's an Isekai Kota, I know it's an Isekai series. Like, how did Tanya get to this point, right? So I, I want to go into that, and I'm assuming they're gonna go into that because this episode's called Prologue, so that would only make sense. We're gonna probably like take a step back because the first episode was like mostly pretty chaotic, right? So a lot of anime will do that too. The first, they'll open you up with a crazy episode, and then they'll kind of take a step back. You know, you know, turn down the lever or however you want to put it in the uh, in the next episode, in the second episode. So we'll see if they do the same thing here. But I do want to know because obviously you have a little girl on the on the battlefield in like the 1900s or whatever. So she had he or she had to get here somehow. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what what we'll have in this episode. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're gonna get started in three, two, one. It's kind of unfortunate because, like, I know it's an Isekai series because of Isekai Kota. If I, if I didn't know that, like, if it, if I watched it way beforehand, like, I obviously would have had no idea. But, I mean, we're opening up here in 2013 in, in Tokyo. So. I'm superior to the incompetent. He even talks, like... How Tanya would talk, like, wherever she's at now. Okay, so this isn't Tanya. The, per the, the, the dude talking to him, this guy right here, is Tanya. Well. Yeah. Stray said, we don't need you anymore. Just kind of like a, almost like a normal business man. Some people, it's not really hard to make those decisions. Some people, it is hard to make those decisions, like having to fire someone like that. More money. Or so you thought, and then yeah, here's what. Yep. And I, we, we, you, you saw that the look on that dude's face. He was rushing towards him, literally. <laughs> Jeez. At this moment, he knew he fucked up. I just killed someone. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it had to happen somehow. Okay. Frozen time? <laughs> Am I seeing this from a different perspective? Or like, wait, wait, wait like... What the hell? Okay, this this is a little different. Now, is this actually what they're thinking inside of their? Okay, I was about to say, is this actually what they're thinking inside of their heads? But then a bird's talking. Creator. God. Yeah, he's just frozen time, it feels like it seems like.
saying it's the actions of the devil or the yeah You're going to be reborn as a girl, a lowly at that, and you're going to be put on the battlefield. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Overlord. Shout out to Overlord. Goaty series. Aren't like the authors of like Yojo Senki and uh, Overlord, they're like kind of close? Or maybe the illustrator, because I know like Sobin from Overlord. Sobin is a god, by the way. It's just a man's not human. Like death? Like, like what's about to happen to him? Dire Straits, putting him in the, <laughs> yeah, putting him on the battlefield. War, the worst, <laughs> probably one of the worst positions you could be in. Wow, uh, I did not expect it to be all like that though. Like I said, that's kind of different than what you see from, like, you know, the Isekai series. Because usually it's just like, bam, you get hit, or something happens, and you're put right into the world. <laughs> and then you're trying to process shit there. But it literally stopped in the, like, the middle of that, and then went into some deep shit. <laughs> This is me now, Tanya. Oh, man. So from 2013 to 1913. My God. 100 years. Like Germany or <laughs> Germany, that, that's I guess what they're going for, or what Tanya's talking about there. And that was where sh potential overflowed their magic. I mean, we kind of saw that in a previous episode, but from this young of an age, her magic was already promising. Huh. First, maybe the first time she smiled like that, 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 that devilish, fiendish... <laughs> But dope smile. <laughs> so taking that same kind of approach just in this world, right, that he that he kinda had as like a salary man. Like, it doesn't even, like, feel right or seem right, you know? <laughs> I 
Like, imagine you being in the military and then someone like this just got put in. Like, I know she's she's proved herself, and she did prove herself. I mean, look, she was like a prodigy, but I mean, <laughs> I feel like a lot of them were like, "Why is she here? Like, are you serious? Are you are, you, are we a joke?" <laughs> Yeah, she she moved up quick. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. Like, if you were in the, if you were just a normal person in the military, you'd be saying these kinds of things. Like, are we a joke? <laughs> is, is, are they serious? And then she proves it to him, like that she is actually the shit. That you, <laughs> even though she's a little girl. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. <laughs> Think I'm playing around? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what were you just saying, man? You about to kill no hesitation by death I'm just waiting for what this unexpected thing is that she's talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. Oh my God. I, was gonna say, I mean, I was going to say it's kind of maybe overkill, but it is war, so... Right, right.
Maybe it's a diversion? Or they're literally meat shields? <laughs> meat shield diversion? A somewhat tense military exercise, and they're getting obliterated. Being used as meat shields, pretty much. They're just like misled. Which is Tanya in this case, right? Okay, you're saying this. We already know something unexpected is about to happen. And it's not going to be so easy. So some shit's about to happen. I <laughs> can't hear shit. Well... Shouldn't have jinxed yourself, Tanya. Shouldn't have jinxed yourself. And that's what they all say. It's like, oh, she could be my little sister, my daughter, like. <laughs> oh, man. Got like what nine or ten on her? It's a couple minutes. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a couple minutes. It's more than a couple minutes. It's like what? Ten minutes? That's asking a lot of that's asking a lot of one person, right? Maybe she just fired her she just fired her up and didn't even know she what she was doing. She didn't even intend to, and she did. My God. <laughs> Circling around. Ooh, nice. I was like going like this, like <laughs> like they're. I love the way the the like the mechanics are for like the the gear they use and like how they fight. It makes for some, like in the first episode that was already established. It makes for some. It's gonna make for some sick battles, some sick fights. Oh my god, and some graphic battles as well. She's bobbing and weaving. She's she's taking them out one at a time. Closing in. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, that camera work, dude. See what I mean? Like, it kind of reminds me of Eureka 7 in a way, because Eureka 7 had, like, the 
like the the mechs with like the surfboards. Like it kind of reminds me of that in a way. Just kind of how creative you could get with the fight with the fights. Oh, surprise! <laughs> she is crazy, man. If I had someone, if, if someone like jumped on my back like that and had that look on her face, bro. Holy shit. And we know she didn't die. We know she's still alive, but still, she went, it, She did that with the intent to, like, she knew she could die, probably, or she most likely was going to die. <laughs> with a smile on her face, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, you lived. We know <laughs> you lived. That wasn't your that wasn't your time to go yet. <laughs> I mean, what she did was crazy. It was like one out of ten. Like at least in that situation. Six hundred seconds, like Wow. <laughs> That's exactly uh a child protection agency. <laughs> it's probably too late for all that. Yeah, we know it was too late for all that cuz I mean it's kind of what happened, right? Got sent to the Online, she wrote, kept you know rising through the ranks and all. Great, we got a evil scientist looking guy, <laughs> acted guy. So, uh, yeah, this is the episode I was kind of expecting. Honestly, I think this is the Myth and Roid track, too. What is it called? Jingo Jungle, which I've heard it. I've already heard this song before. It's fire. But yeah, this is the episode I was um, kind of expecting. I mean, the, it, before going into it, I mean, it's called Prologue, and a lot of anime will do that. Well, they'll start you off with some crazy shit in episode one, and then they kind of they, you know, they give you a lot of exposition or a lot of you know, they slow it down in the next episode. That's kind of what we had in here, though. The second half of the episode was actually pretty lit, kind of similar to the stuff we had in the in the first episode. But yeah, like the action scenes are just yes, dude. This fucking song, man. I haven't listened to it in a while. I have listened to it before, but man, it just made me totally lose my train of thought. <laughs> That's how fire it is. Oh, okay, this just reminded me. I was going to say, the fight scenes, they can get really freaking creative with it, man. And the the way the camera w works and even how it's animated, it's it's sick, dude. Like, the effects animation is great. The music they use in the fight scenes, like, that's definitely one of my favorite things so far. Because I already like... Oh. Nope. Tanya um, dolled up? Like, I can't even picture it. <laughs> she, she, she does not want to do it at all. <laughs> it doesn't even seem right. It doesn't, like, yeah, it just doesn't. I can't see her in that, like. <laughs> Dude, this is part of the job. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> that was great. 
That was so. That was actually in the present. I thought that was like kind of still a little bit further back before we were at before what we had you know before what we saw in the in the previous episode. So we saw like Victoria there. So I mean, maybe it was, it's not in the present. In it was still before kind of what we got into in the in the in the first episode. But um, yeah, I I kind of was going off track. And some things were gonna be distracted. We had to see you there at the end. But um. Yeah, like the the action, one of my favorite things so far. But in this episode, we actually get you know got how Tanya pretty much ended up here. You know what happened. The being X thing, I'm actually really curious to see what happens with you know with that. Um, they 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 brought that up. Not which it's not God or the devil. I don't think either. It's like is it something else or like I, I'm kind of curious on that whole thing. You, you, you know, but definitely a unique way. Partially not unique and, and and partially unique because like when I when I say it's not really unique because okay yeah the train you know, we the train hit him so we see that a lot we, you know it's a bus truck train whatever it may be so that you know that's still there as a concept but the whole like how oh, everything was like froze and then like you were getting the I guess it was the thoughts of him just from other people's like perspective or maybe it was just like god or some kind of another you know being or whatever i think they put it though that it was kind of like his own thoughts in a way or something like that like from other people so yeah th that was um kind of cool i actually like how they did that um definitely just the tone in that you know it's something i haven't saw from like another isekai series so i like that for sure and um yeah so so pretty I mean, we got a bit of everything in this episode, honestly. Um, I wasn't expecting as much action, honestly, like as the first episode, but the second half kind of went in, uh, I got to say. So, uh, yeah, good episode here. Like I said, I'm kind of curious about the Being X stuff and more of that. Um, but definitely a lot of the things we saw, like the little bit we saw of Tanya when she, well, he, I guess, was just a, kind of a normal businessman trying to make their way up. Um, we we still see a lot of those same mannerisms and just the way kind of how he looks at people and, and, and treats people and the way he talks to people, even in this form, in this girl form and, you know, in the, in the 1900s, early 1900s, like it's, it's wild, dude. It's wild. Um, so I can't, I can't wait for more. This is another really enjoyable episode. I have to say, and, I, and that OP too, fire. I, I know I told you all I already heard it, but. It's been a while. I don't even remember the last time I heard it, but hearing it again, kind of a little bit of uh, a rush of nostalgia because I usually try to follow like Myth and Roy's music, and uh, you know this is one song that I had heard a while ago, and hearing it again, just God sauce, <laughs> God sauce. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. If I'm kind of like uh, hazy on something or like missing something, maybe I should have got from this episode, you know. You guys are usually pretty good with the, you know, with this stuff. Definitely help me out. But if there's stuff I'm not supposed to know yet, obviously don't tell me. Uh, don't spoil anything for me. You know, we're just getting started. Two episodes in. So, uh, yeah, like I said, if you guys didn't enjoy, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you do, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.